Good evening. Wet weather returned today. Showers gradually spread eastwards, delivering a few millimetres. Sunny breaks, though, meant it was not as cold as yesterday, reaching 10 in Ballarat, 13 in Lake Bolac, 16 in Horsham and 16 today in Nil. Yesterday's cold cloud band moved out over the Tasman Sea, letting some sunshine warm it up today. A trough entered western Victoria this morning, pushing those showers out ahead. This is attached to a low pressure system, but we can now see a cold front developing all the way over here. The trough will continue moving eastwards before weakening during the day tomorrow, but the showers will continue thanks to that low. We take a break on Sunday, but a strengthening front is now crossing the bite. This one will be a big one and has a lot of cold polar air in behind it. This will arrive here on Monday. Winds at the coast for tomorrow, they're southwesterly 10 to 15 knots, turning variable 10 knots during the afternoon. Widespread showers will continue tomorrow. It is a fairly wet day, but they will ease later in the afternoon. It's a top of 16 in Geelong, down to about 9 overnight. 15 in Colac, 16 for Warrnambool, 10 to start. Top of 15 in Hamilton, 14 in Stall, and 15 tomorrow in Donald. In Ballarat, 6 to about 12. Frequent showers, mainly in the morning. Melbourne has frequent showers. They'll be easing back later, a top of 16. In the days ahead, we are dry on Sunday, but mostly cloudy and strong winds will develop. It all arrives on Monday. Widespread showers and gusty winds. We can also expect icy hail, rumbles of thunder and snow on the ranges. But that was my final weather bulletin. Thank you for watching me for so many years. It was wonderful. So for the last time, it does look showery tomorrow, Bruce. Jane, thank you very much for the last time. It's been a wonderful experience spending so much time with you during the past five years, marvelling at your passion and also your knowledge of meteorology. It's just been an absolute delight, not just for me, but for the Wind News team. So thank you very much. Your next endeavour, I'm sure, is going to be a brilliant one. And on behalf of the team, as your friend and your colleague, I'd just like to wish you much love and much luck. Thank you very much. That is how we saw news in Western Victoria today. We are looking forward to your company again on Monday night from 7 o'clock. If you have the chance over the weekend, you can look us up on Twitter or Facebook. Have a good one. Good night. The latest initiative is part of the company's $6 million utility.